And not everybody outgrows food allergy. Like, I think that's a myth out there with allergy. You know, you can grow into allergies, you can grow out of allergies. That part's true. But if you have life-threatening food allergy, each food has its own likelihood of outgrowing it. With children, milk and egg, along with peanut, are some of the most common allergies. And the milk and egg most tend to outgrow it. But it's not quick. It's for the nuts, it's actually the minority of people that naturally outgrow this. So this is something that if you're not doing active treatment, if all you're doing is preventing because maybe that's all you know there is to do, we want to let you know there is more. A couple of years ago, the first FDA approved food immunotherapy treatment came out on the market. It's called Pelforzia for treating peanut allergy. So this is an oral immunotherapy. It's called OIT. And with this method, the indication is for achieving desensitization or bite safety, essentially. So the goal is that you would take this series of initially almost microscopic amounts of peanut powder and increasing that dose over time. The first time that you start OIT, there's something called an escalation day. So you're in your allergist's office for several hours while you're starting at this dose that's low enough that most people with life-threatening peanut allergy can tolerate, and then gradually over certain time periods taking more and more, gradually increasing. Then you take it home. So you're doing these doses at home, and that's usually the same dose. You're not increasing the dose at home, but you're doing this daily at home for one to two weeks, depends on your treatment plan. And then you're coming back into the office for up doses, usually every two weeks. The goal is to get you up to the maintenance dose, which is essentially eating a peanut. And this is all part of getting a patient from a place where having an accidental ingestion could take their life to a place where biting into a cookie at a party is not a big deal and is maybe more of a signal like, oh, this has my allergen in it. So that's the FDA approved product that's out there. There are allergists that can offer OIT for other foods. So our practice does this. 